Hello, in this Android Citra emulator video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your Android device so you can play, well, 3DS games with your Xbox controller. You can do this with a, it has to be ones that, ha if you want to use, you know, wired, then you'll need like an Xbox 360 wired controller, a, any Xbox One or Series controller and plug in a micro USB-C cable for Series controller and use an OTG adapter on your you know phone or your tablet so you can connect the controller. If you want to use wireless, then the Xbox Series controllers work out of the box because they have Bluetooth. If you want to use Xbox One, you'll need the newer ones which have Bluetooth I cannot confirm if I've tried, you know, if it works with using an older Xbox One controller, which has proprietary Bluetooth, proprietary wireless technology that you need a dongle for. Maybe using an OTG adapter, you could use a dongle. I think that's just very cumbersome and it's just sticking out. I mean, that's my opinion. And if that works, you probably could use a 360 dongle as well for the wireless. So this works best with newer Xbox One controllers, which have built-in Bluetooth and Xbox series controllers, which all have built-in Bluetooth, or probably any Bluetooth controller. The process is pretty much the same for like a PS4 controller, apart from the fact that you just need to know how to put that into sync mode compared to this one. Apart from that, it's the same. So you go to your settings, go to Bluetooth connections, and let me just go back. Go to connection, Bluetooth. I've got a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3. If you have a different device might look slightly different but should be still pretty similar now in here you'll be appearing available devices you need to put your controller into pairing mode to do that you put press the sync button at the top so slightly to the left by lb and you keep that press for a few seconds and you've got to turn your controller on first so just with the newer controllers you don't actually need to do that you can just keep it pressed with the older ones you need to turn the controller on then press the sync button the light will start flashing fast, the Xbox logo will, and it will appear here. If it doesn't, press scan, and it should appear. There we go, Xbox wireless controller, click that. A little menu should pop up, same pair, click pair. And once it's paired, your Xbox logo on your controller will go solid. So it said it couldn't pair, so let me try it again. Click pair. Still saying couldn't pair, which is strange. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the battery out, put it back in, and turn it on, put it into pair mode, scan it, and still has not appeared yet. There we go, Xbox wireless controller. Don't wanna to connect to shield, pair. There we go, it has paired. If that happens, just go through the steps again. So now I can actually control my my phone, which is pretty rad to be fair, with my Xbox controller. Go back, go to Citra. I had it over here somewhere, I'll just launch it again. Citra, and in here, go to your settings, go to gamepad, and you can just map your controls. So if I press A, I can map it. If I press A on there, Press B, you can map in whatever configuration you like. And select, I'll press the share button, and start. And for the circle pad, which is the main analog stick, you just need to you know, press an axis. So for up and down, I'll use the you know, left analog stick up. If you press down, it'll, it's fine. It, if I press down, as you can see, it configures it to the same thing. It just needs the axis, not this specific direction, which is actually pretty darn cool. And let's do C stick. I'll do that with the right hand long stick, with some games do require it. And now D pad, up and left, right. L, I'll put as LB, I'll put as RB, ZL, I will put as RT, ZR, I'll put as RT. Did I say RT for ZL? I meant LT. But they can, you can do that if you want to. Go back, go back again, launch your game up. And I'll load the state so it just goes directly into gameplay. So the scene all the intro again. 